have a Russian friend who's a sound technician and a Czech one too, and a Czech one too. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that's really bad. <clears throat> okay, I gotta stop this. <laughs> We're here today, gathered friends and family for the shave, the first one ever for myself with tabak. Tabak Rassia Seife aus Deutschland. It's a German soap. Um, I got it with this ceramic bowl, which I don't know why, because it's a horn of ugly, isn't it? Um, but anyway, that's, that's what it is. And it has a pretty ugly plastic lid as well. And it, it's brand new, so it comes with a protective sheet of paper. And there's the soap. Tabak. Okay. And it has sort of, not ridges, but yeah, maybe that's what it is at the bottom. So I suppose you, you squeeze it in. Huh? Yeah, I'm going to squeeze it in anyway. Huh. Might be working. Oop, yep, sank down and wow, it's German engineering. Bit of a scent. Is it a tobacco scent? Is it a tobacco scent? Okay. They they made the soap since 1959. It says on the thing. Brushes the two band badger from Jeff Anderson G A seven. I cannot remember the knot with 26 millimeters maybe. Okay, so I squeezed this out quite a bit, not completely, but quite a bit. It is a hard soap. I've only been reading up on how to lather it, but I, I suppose you have to load quite hard. I didn't bloom it or soak it. I suspect that would have been good too, but I don't know. We have to try it out. So it comes out as, as foam. Quite a lot of foam. It's probably pretty easy to scoop up, scoop up soap on this one. We'll do that for now. Okay. No, tobacco maybe it smells so far it smells a bit like when someone's smoking smoked a few cigarettes and you put them out so you have the stale scent of dead tobacco with a bit of sweetness to it I'm not over sensitive to, to soap smells I think some are good, some are okay, doesn't bother me. I have gotten rid of one soap because of, this, of the scent, but that was my wife who said it was Rome by Barrister and Man, which is a, a pretty strong scent. It, it has, um, it's, it's a bit of a, a divider. Um, and I had the the, the, the splash as well and it was very strong it, I can't remember the smell but it was like motor oil or something very crazy so I, I did get rid of that of that set actually um, that's the only soap I rid myself of because of the scent yeah it smells like it does in a home where both he and she are smoking and they have leather sofas. So I haven't really, I haven't really heard anyone who says they really dig the scent. I have said people, I heard people say they tolerate the scent. 
because the performance of the soap is so good. I wonder if this is the same recipe since 1959. That would be pretty cool. Not as old as Mitchell's wool fat, of course, but still pretty old. So it was all foam to start with, but as you work out the bubbles, you know, it gets the consistency of an artisan type soap that you overloaded for you. Swedish lathering expert Stefan Hedlund refers to that consistency of soap, of leather, as toothpaste. other people say that too but he's the first one who sort of gave me pointers in terms of how to how to leather start out with a pretty dry brush load it on the face till it's like toothpaste and then add water until you're done So the adding water part is the tricky bit, because you never quite know how much if it's a new soap. Or, in, in my case, every time, because I don't remember. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna... F it's everywhere, I'm gonna splay a bit, see what happens. feeling we will be here for a while until we have moisturized it properly. Yeah, that's a cold soap, that's for sure. I was toying with the idea of taking using a synthetic brush in order to obtain some kind of control. And then I thought otherwise, so Screw control, eh? Hey? quite a bit more water. So basically you keep adding water till you screw up the, the ladder. That's what I do typically anyway. It's pretty shiny. Maybe, perhaps, yes. Maybe, perhaps. That's 1986. German music from Düsseldorf. Maybe, perhaps. No. Razor. Nine eighths. Wedge from Andreas Westerhult. See the brass on the inside. Let's see. I have a good feeling about this. I 
had a really rough shave yesterday evening with quite a few cuts and weepers and quite a bit of irritation so I don't need to shave today so it is a bit stupid I just want to I just got the soap is the light flickering again that's damn annoying don't know how to fix that it's the settings on the phone yeah I know but I just don't know how to I've tried I'm an idiot when it comes to that It's nice and slick. <sighs> Hands are a bit tired. We've done electric work around the house today. I'm pretty slow with my hands nowadays. And I'm shit at electric stuff. I'm really bad. So I'm doing stuff that I shouldn't really do. Nothing complicated, just, you know. But still, a bit nervous. I cut all the power. I don't trust myself to figure out which fuse to take out. I cut all the power. When you're inside the walls, uh, it feels better. So, so I'm a bit tired in the hands and arms because it was a bit of, you know, I'm full of excuses as usual. The soap is performing really well. I think I, I think I did a good job with the leather. This razor kind of cuts the hairs off itself. You have to pull it up and it pulls itself down. So, oh, I, I want to apologize for my latest video when I was in a provocative mode. And I was saying straight razors are better than these. Of course, they're not. I prefer them. Most people don't. I'm sorry. I was being a jerk. I can barely handle the... I was, this is where the roughness is from yesterday. Probably the razor was a bit on the dull side because then you tend to get irritation and you can get cuts because you sort of push a bit and you don't want to push too much. Yeah, scent is improving a bit. But still, yeah, um, cigarette butts, leather sofa in a room that never gets aired. And people eating cotton candy in the same room. That's the scent. Okay. See how she relathers. So yeah, tomorrow is officially the, the final day of Corona quarantine from work. But today we had our first infected person in the little town where I live. So may as well go back to work. Because it could get the thing here. I saw 10th 
thousand people have died in the United States of America this flu season, regular flu season. So, and more than 12 have the coronavirus. So, of course, we have to take it seriously. I'm probably going to get it. The way when I talk. It's a few percentage points too dry. Not much, but a little bit. Yeah, really, yeah. Mm. seen these accounts that comment on, on some of the YouTube videos, including mine. I um, can't remember the names, there are a few. So they start out, they have 2,500 subscribers, no content, God knows what it is. And they, I don't know what, they know nothing about wet shaving and they come and say, ah, Brilliant video. Do you want to be YouTube friends? And then they comment, ah, oh, epic. When's your next video? I can't wait. It's a bit too dry now. My fault. So whenever they comment, I started commenting back to them. Do you want to be YouTube friends? <laughs> I thought they would go be ecstatic, they never respond. Sweet Caroline. Ah, oh, I'm slow. Oh, I was tagged in a new challenge from I am sorry, I am CDB, and uh, that he was shaving with Williams yesterday, and the challenge is to master the lathering of Williams. I had said I gave up. I can't. I gave up. Um, kind of put a bit of water in. This may not look pretty, but it's going to moisturize in a good way. We have loads of lather left, so we can play around. Add a bit more water. Just painting that on. Not really working it in. Try and get a bit more glide. Yeah, so the challenge is to, to do it properly, not cheating, not adding Arco for uh, for lather lathering qualities. And of course, I was never intending to use Williams again. So the the soap. The soap puck I had, I mixed all of it with, well, all of my 
arco stick because I didn't think I was going to use that either. So I have none left. But my buddy Matti is sorting me out. Thanks Matti, appreciate that. That hurts because that was that was a rough area from yesterday. So yeah, when I get the soap, I'll do a video. I'll let you know who to challenge next. To Leather Williams. Generally people I don't like. It's punishment, you know. Punishment for opening your mouth. Okay, I'm going to rinse. It's not going to be a quick rinse, it's going to be a normal rinse. to get the soap off. <laughs> soap it was wasn't a fantastic shave but I don't think it was had much to do with the soap lather was a bit too dry takes a bit of time to learn first pass was was better than than the second one and then um, yeah hands weren't perfect razor maybe needs a touch up so but it was a cool cool soap um, I stand by my scent description and uh, it doesn't grow on you the scent uh, as time goes by it makes you slightly nauseous just like you know if you'd be locked in with your aunt and an uncle in that room with the the room that never gets aired and they've been smoking after a while you get nauseous same thing with tobacco but it appears a good soap. Probably grows on you in terms of performance. I have nothing really to match, so I'm going Stetson, which might match. I think my uncle, who smokes in the leather sofa, sofa, yeah, he'd use this stuff. He's used, oh shit, way too much. He's used this stuff since high school. And he still uses it because you don't argue with success and all this modern shit, you know? Stetson. Thanks for watching. See you soon and stay sharp.